on Tuesday, there's a land use uh, meeting with the Hillsborough County Commission. It starts at um, 9 o'clock in the morning. You have to be there early to sign in. It's June the 9th, Tuesday. It's on the county, at the county center on the second floor at 601 East Kennedy Boulevard in Tampa. And we need you to attend to please say no to the racetrack at Lumsden and Kings. Racetrack Petroleum is a large petroleum company that is building racetrack service stations everywhere right now. They happen to pick our corner wetland to develop. And 20 years ago, Quick Pick tried to do the same thing with a convenience store and a petroleum center. At that time, Mr. Stephen Griffiths, with the Hillsborough County Planning Department Senior Advisor, recommended against doing this because of the impact on the residential community as well as the wetlands. He said at that time that it was not compatible with the land use actions of Hillsborough County. Now we're 20 years later and the attempt is being made again. Only in the meantime, they've developed both the north and south uh, quadrants of this piece of property and they've eradicated 22 acres of wetlands to build a professional medical center on the north side and the professional medical center on the south side. We were told that they would be, there would be no farther development. Unfortunately, they're back to the drawing boards, only this time we have local attorney, Mr. Marchetti, that is working uh, to put into place the new EPC chief who ran for county commissioner in Hillsborough County. And if you read the metro section of the T Tampa Tribune, May the 20th, 2015, you would find that Mr. Marchetti in closed meetings with others, predominantly in our um, developing community, pushed through to get our Ms. Daughtry back on the ballot as the Director of Environmental Land Use or Environmental Protection Chief for Hillsborough County. Ms. Daughtry owns a company that allows for the developing of wetlands throughout our community. It is a conflict of interest for this to go any farther. Not only will this impact our wetlands, but it will impact the lifestyle of our homes and our property values in the Brandon community. Tell me a little bit about the wetlands that are at this corner. The wetlands at this corner I have been trying to protect for the last 25 years and in my research I also went back to the Florida statutes and the Florida laws pertaining to wetlands and it clearly states that the powers that be, in, in our case our zoning officer or our hearing master, are usually in con uh, direct conflict with the reality of what should be taking place in our protection of wetlands. And with that um, it states very clearly that defenders of land use regulation argue that the private market, market fails to really deal with the true cost of growth and development. If there were no rules, they argue, wetlands would be paved and beaches would be closed off, and if developers built parks, they would have no incentives to open them to the public. We are facing that in Hillsborough County. If we don't stop developers from destroying our wetlands, we will have none. I uh, like to read the newspapers and um, Mr. Colton Ward is a local photographer that goes and does a trip every year to uh, take pictures of the natural pristine environment in, in Florida. If we as a community don't come together and go to this meeting and protest, we will not be able to stop this development. Again, uh, if you would like to be interested uh, in attending, we want you to get there early. It's at the county commission meeting. We need to say no to racetrack at Lumsden and Kings in Brandon, Florida. The date again is Tuesday, June the 9th. Instead, uh, instead of saying the date again, let me ask you, um, how, can people, how can people get involved if they want to get in touch with you? How can people get in touch with you? They can call me on my cell phone. My number is 493-9644, uh, area code 813. My name is Leela Lilliquist. I have been a long um, standing community activist uh, uh, in opposition to the development of this wetland. We have sandhill cranes, we have burrowing owls, we have foxes. Uh, our sandhill crane population is diminishing down to nothing because they have no place for a habitat. And as I read to the hearing master at my speaking uh, engagement, which of course Mr. Marchetti made sure our speaking time was at the last of the agenda. We didn't get to speak until after 1030 on both public appearances in the last three months before the, um, the hearing master. And I spoke in opposition to the racetrack, racetrack service station development in an RES-6 urban area. As a resident of Brandon since 1991, our community has enjoyed a vast number of wildlife, sandhill cranes, burrowing owls, and red foxes to name a few. Our wetland area at Lumsden and Kings provides a natural nesting sanctuary for our birds and wildlife. 
Over the past 15 years, we have seen development eradicate 22 acres of this environmental wetland, and now we hear that there is a need to further deplete our wetlands with a petroleum mega center to greet our Sea and Hill cranes every afternoon when they fly in to nest for the night. We all know that the deep pockets that exist in our community and the greed of developers at the expense of our natural habitats. However, if you as a hearing master are truly a steward of this county, you will flatly deny the ignorance of this proposal and not allow the farther degradation of our Brandon community. And I just say enough is enough. We need to stand up for our rights in, in our community and we need the young people to come out and strong. You know, you're out of school now, young people get this message. Ms. Lilliquist wants your help. We need you to wear t-shirts. We, we need you to show up at the county commission. We need you, you to let our county commissioners know that they are stewards of our community and they're not acting like stewards. Thank you. Kayla, thanks so much for joining me today. Oh, you're very